Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Ali Yang. Thank you friends for tuning in for another episode. This is indeed my adventure within my Minecraft world. Oh, my cactus has actually grown, what the heck? Uh, but welcome back guys for a brand new episode. Last episode, we um, actually built this beautiful area here. I have some sad news to tell you unfortunately, but we did indeed build this beautiful area here. We uh, got ourselves a load of nether brick, which is lovely. We also got ourselves a new iron golem. Because the last one disappeared. I don't know where he went. <laughs> but we lost him, but we got a new one. We tied him up. We took him as our own. So he's now our buddy. We're now under... Uh, he's now under our control. The sad news. So, I thought I was being clever. Building this lovely arena. You guys liked it. A lot of you guys really liked it. You guys were awesome. You showed a lot of support on the last episode on the video. If you missed it, it'll be linked down below in the description. And you can check out the playlist for all Alia adventure videos. But, you guys kindly pointed out that the Wither Boss, when you, sp when you spawn him in... He actually explodes, and I kind of knew this, I kind of didn't know this, I'll explain. Um, so I thought that the Wither Boss acted in a similar way to the Ghast, and the Ghast, when it fires out its fireballs, as we as we learned, uh, it can't break this stuff, so I thought the Wither Boss would be like, it, it, would, it would like maybe hit me a few times, but this would block it and he wouldn't be able to do any damage. Unfortunately, um, when it explodes and when it fires out its fireballs, it can pretty much wreck absolutely everything. So this little base here, fun to make, fortunately, uh, it's not going to hold up against Wither Boss. But we're going to keep it here and I'm going to turn it into the project that I had the idea of anyway, which is to take a load of nether, to take a load of um, netherrack home and make a nether building within our normal world. So I'll turn this into a lovely nether building and it's still going to have a purpose because... I've got a new idea. I, this time I'm not going to execute upon it before I've consulted you guys, the Minecraft gods. <laughs> um, my idea is this. And it's a unique idea, but I think it could work. So, what I'm going to do is build a second base directly, maybe not directly underneath, I'll probably drown. <laughs> um, somewhere in this little open area, maybe just here or something. Um, actually, you know what I could do? I can make like, a diving board off there. If I got a, you know, I've got a really good idea, guys. It should work as well. It should work. So, what I'm thinking of doing, first we need to work out where this sort of goes. I think it's about here. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of a little block here. I'm gonna say that much. Actually, will that be a bit too wide if I do that then? What's the greatest amount of width? Hmm... I think a 4x4 block may be able to, if, if I'm executing from my idea correctly, I think the biggest hole I could have would be that. So the idea I've got for the secondary <laughs> uh, with a boss battle is to make an underground, ba underground battle area. So the idea is make like an underground little tube down here to fall down in, which makes, takes me down fairly deep, not too deep. And then build, like just like I've got here, build like a similar structure, so like... A, um, a sort of like walkway underground, maybe like to about here, imagining we're underground, and then like a big hole. This big hole will be where we spawn in the Wither Boss. He can explode, he can destroy some sand, the sand may fall on him and hurt him, but I think we'll probably go deep enough so that we're no longer seeing sand. And then it's like a confined fighting area and he shouldn't be able to get out of it. The only problem is it does leave me in a sticky situation. That's an idea. This time I'm going to consult you guys before executing on it, so let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think an underground battle area is a good idea? Um, if you do think it's a good idea, then awesome. We're going to have to give that a go. What I'm going to do is fill in this hole just because... Oh man, it's sand, isn't it? So I can't properly fill it in. Damn it, sand. You're too powerful. You're too, too... Ah, there we go. Hey, we finally stopped the water. Okay, there we go. Let's put that on there. Unfortunately, a creeper spawned last night and uh, blew everything up at the end of the episode. <laughs> so that's why there's a little bit of a hold there. So, that's the new plan, my friends. That is the new plan. An underground battle area. I think it could work. Or maybe I could just make a massive underground hole. Maybe I can make some TNT, blow a few holes in the, um, in the ground, and then just turn it into like a battle arena. I honestly think it's not a bad idea. I honestly think it's not a bad idea. So, I'll explain why I didn't fully understand the Wither Boss. A, I didn't want to like properly know how Wither Boss worked, just to sort of like, um, just so that it was a surprise when I fought it. But obviously these things are pretty, pretty badass beast. Um, so basically, I watched someone fight the Wither Boss, just the first part, 
and for what I skipped through the video very quickly just just to get an idea of what it looked like and how it worked and when it spawned in of course it exploded that's what happens you spawn it in like its health goes up and then it explodes I don't want to ruin it too much for you guys again in case like you guys haven't seen it um, but I thought that explosion was caused by the user setting off TNT it's like an initial attack on the wither boss of course it wasn't it's just what happens when you spawn in the wither boss it just explodes and damages absolutely everything around it and then it just goes on a rampage and starts shooting stuff at you. I won't give any more away than that. That's pretty much all I know. I know it can fly. I did know that, but I wasn't too sure, like, how much it could fly. I don't know why I thought one layer of fences would contain the Wither Boss. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was going through my head there, guys. Um, but, yeah. I think the underground idea could work because it means it can't fly upwards. Because it's limited in terms of the ceiling. It could start destroying stuff, but only very, very slowly. And if it wants to destroy the area that is in underground, it's going to have to literally, like, bash its way through. Um, the only thing is then it's very very close to me, so I've got to work out a way of keeping my distance That's why I'm thinking like one big arena could work out quite well. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think We've just made it home in time Beautiful doors are protecting us. I think I want to add something to the doors actually I said I'd add it to the doors chickens chickens chicken chickens one of the things that we are loving within our skyblock series Which is a brand new series we've started. This is like a really fun version of minecraft survival You guys are showing it a lot of support So thank you I wasn't sure if you guys would like it if you wouldn't like it and you guys have showed the video lots of support So thank you guys you are the bestest now That is what I am Talking about baby look at all of this brick can you do anything with it? Like, can you turn it into stairs? Or can you, li like, is there any, like, can you place a brick down? I guess the only thing you can do is just turn it into nether brick? I don't know. Nether brick to nether brick. Huh, interesting. Pity that it's such a, like, a, such a, um, unefficient brick. It just, it gets used up so quickly. Out of all that nether rack, we only managed to get 64. <laughs> oh, man, if if only we got more. But anyway, so there we go, guys. A little bit of an introduction as to what's going on, what's happened, the knowledge that I have gained through you guys in the comment section, which is always very, very useful. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. I've also got some cool things I want to design of you guys. We've got that beautiful egg. Dude, if that chicken touches the egg, I wonder if the egg would teleport. Hopefully it doesn't. Because I know that if as soon as I touch the egg, it will teleport. So I'm just going to leave it alone now. Oh, we got our cake. Am I hungry enough? Can I eat it? I'm really tempted not to eat it. I just want to... Oh, it's so... I want to eat it so bad. I want to eat it so bad. I think I may put like a row of cakes around here. Nom, 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 nom. I'm going to eat it anyway. Oh, it's red on the inside. It's a strawberry cake. It's a little bit of a weird design, actually. It's kind of freaky. Um, I'm just going to eat that cake whenever I'm a little bit hungry and I'm back home. So, what I also want to do is grab this and um, design something that I wanted to do initially, but never had a chance to do. Um, I'm sure I wanted to do this in another place as well. I just can't quite remember where that other place was. Um, so I'm just going to do it in a place that I can remember. Now, you will remember our awesome gateway. It looks pretty awesome. I think it's a really cool design, guys. We, we worked hard on it. It works well, and I like it. But... I'm going to do this properly because I'm, I'm worried if I do the switches in the wrong order, something bad will happen. But we've got all of this redstone contraptionery. What I want to do is customize the entrance a little bit. So, um, I need to work out how how many blocks I'm going to do. So, let me check to see if I've got like a reference image I can look at. Uh, just to make sure I'm not getting, not getting the image completely screwed up. Okay, so here we go. This should help out. Alright, sweet. So... We are going to need one, two, three, five. Okay, so how wide? Let's see how wide this is. Is there a chicken that's coming inside? What? Chicken, stop, please. Chicken. What the heck? Okay, so um, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Chicken, this is not for you to explore. I know you like it, but it's not for you, or you to explore. So, uh, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of an odd number, but we could always just make it a really fat A, actually. We could just make it a bigger A, couldn't we? So, uh, I think it was 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if we went like that, 1, 2, 3, 4. Does that make sense? 4 gap. One, two, three, four gap. One, two, three, four gap. Nice. So, 
I'm going to try and design this as, as efficiently as I can. Hopefully, hopefully it works. It just, I think it'll make it make it a little bit cooler, a little bit of a customized, a little bit of a customized look. Uh, can I jump from here to there? I can indeed. Nice little soft landing with all the wool as well. I'm gonna put this across. Actually, no, 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 that's too high. That's too high. It's too high. Went a little bit over the top there, guys. Uh, one, two, three, four. We could always make this really big. I think we, I don't want to make it too big. Um. I don't want to make it like crazy, crazy big. I think what I may do is this. There we go. If we go up one, two, should we go up one more? Let's go up one more and then go across like that. Break that one. Goodbye, blue block. Goodbye. So I always wanted to customize. Now hopefully this looks how I hoped it would look in my mind. Does it look good? Actually, it does. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, so you've got a nice actual hey <laughs> um, on the front of the castle, so you guys know exactly whose it is. Mm, what would look best? I've got an idea for how to make it look even cooler. I, I'm just not sure which color I want to do it. I think. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, I've done the thing where I, I've done the switches in the wrong order. Alright. <laughs> i got to go back this way, guys. I'm sorry. I've got to got to go... Oh, no, I can't even go back properly. Okay. It's cool, though. I need to go back this way anyway. <laughs> if I was a mob, I'm sneaking in. Don't don't tell the mobs that they can sneak in this way. So, I'm just going to make the, the A look a little bit cooler with some design ideas I've got going on. Uh, and this should make it look a little bit nicer. All being well. Got an awesome Pokeball there. We still haven't caught- I should definitely bring it- I should try and bring in Pixmon into this world, how crazy would that be? I could do it! Um, but, at the same time, it would- I could just duplicate the world and bring in Pixmon. Would you guys want an Alley A Adventure Pixmon episode series? Now that- now that would be revolutionary! That's actually a really cool idea now that I think about it. <laughs> guys, maybe it'll happen. Just gonna grab some of this white stuff. There we go. I'm just gonna grab some of the white sheep. Luckily, I've still got some left. Not many. Having said that, I'm gonna grab some black as well. Just so many colours I've got going on, just to sort of stack up. I'm not even sure if I can carry any more colours, to be honest. All right, nice. The sheep are basically just my colouring tools, to be honest. <laughs> I grab the sheep, I take their colours, and I don't give them back. Uh, okay, we may not have quite enough, but hopefully it's just enough. And if not, we can always dye them. I think we can dye them back to. Hey, is I ain't gone, guys? How you doing, buddy? Even where's you there? You look sad, bro. You look sad. You shouldn't be sad. You are an Iron Golem. You're the greatest machine in the world. Also, I, di I did ask, um, does the Iron can the Iron Golem assist me with a with a fight? I'm pretty sure I just get blown to smithereens. But let me know whether it could help with a with a fight. Now I think this side should work. Yeah. Okay. It does work. All right. I think, like, I think I did wire up my other secret door properly. I just, I, I need to do the switches in the right order, like I'm doing now. Um, so, I'm actually going to switch this up a little bit, and maybe you guys will realize why in a second. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, and then, hopefully, I don't know if I've got enough white. I'm hoping I have. I'm hoping this looks quite cool as well. I think from a distance it should look quite cool. Okay, we need to go one more higher. I'm making everything one more higher. So I need to do this. And then that. And then I need to get rid of these ones. Come here, you're no longer needed, blocks. You're no longer needed. I'm so used to doing so much crouching. Uh, the next next Skygrid episode basically comes every other day, just like the Alley Adventure does. Uh, the next episode is extremely interesting. Wait, why? Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense, don't worry. Uh, I'm probably going to fall here, actually. Here we go. I don't think I quite have enough white, but I think, hopefully, this makes it look a little bit cooler. Hopefully, it does. Let me know what you guys think. I wasn't sure what colour to do it, but... Hopefully you think it makes it look a little bit cooler. There, I wasn't sure what colour to outline it in. 
but I think white makes it stand out. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, it looks hopefully a little bit nicer than just having it blue. Again, I think I'm stuck on this side of the fence at the moment. <laughs> and I thought it gives a little bit of a boldness. I wasn't sure if I should do it in black or white. But I think black works out quite well. Nice. All right, sweet. So, talking about all this Wither Boss stuff, I still don't have the third Wither Skull. And we'll go and aim to get it very, very soon. Do not fear. Uh, first of all... Do I have any... Okay, do. Sweet. Uh, first of all... I need to do this and see. Will it let me turn it into white? No. Okay. Well then, <laughs> that is. No, I don't think you can use. Oh wait, 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 wait. Snow. Damn it. Damn. Oh, I could have used snow. But will it melt? It'll probably melt eventually, won't it? So that'll be that'll be kind of useless. More snow. Bone meal. I thought you could. I think you can only die. White, can't you? I think that's the idea. Anyway, we may have to leave that for a little bit. We may have to. Unless some of the white ones have grown back. Don't think they have. Alright, we're going to have to leave it for a little bit. Let me know if you guys like the white outline or if you think a different colour would work better as an outline. You guys are always here to give me feedback, so I'll be happy to listen. Now this, my friends, is a chicken farm. Yeah! Hopefully our chicken farm within Skygrid will get as good as this one day. Oh my gosh, I got so many chickens. Five, 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 five. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop it, chickens. The amount of animals I have in this farm is just dumb. It's just dumb, mate. Oh my gosh, we got more. There we go. All right, so we can leave those guys alone. Okay, cool. So, um, we're working on the new little entrance. Why is the cart in the middle? I'm thinking a mob pushed it and didn't ask me, eh? They didn't ask me if they could push it. Um, I think I'm going to retrieve that car and bring it back again. Make sure it's in its rightful position. Uh, I quite, I guess this floor isn't quite finished, but I do quite like the stained glass ex uh, uh, part of it. I think the A looks quite cool. Maybe I could have used black to match the logo over there. But white stands out. It shows that this is my kingdom. <laughs> that nobody is allowed in apart from me. And all of my animals out. Hey! Of course I just came in to join you guys. <gasps> my feather falling shoes almost hurt me. Now blast protection will actually really help me against the wither boss. Funnily enough, that's actually a really good... I think actually it was a really good enchantment to get. Because of how much it will help me against the uh, wither boss. Um, which is going to be awesome. I think I'm going to go to sleep guys and start a brand new day. It's a new day. It's new dawn. Now let's fall into bed. <laughs> so marking our new entrance. Um... So yeah, I won't start the building of that underground place um, until you guys are giving me a the go ahead. Because then I know I can trust myself and know that I'm doing everything hopefully as right as possible. I think I just have like a spare one brick. I'm pretty sure it's going to result in that spare one brick. Yeah, I don't, you know what? I'm just going to throw away that one brick. <laughs> Goodbye, another brick. Now what can you do? Can you place it anywhere? Like can you, you can't even click it or do anything with it, can you? It's just like a useless item. All right, you're going in the incinerator. Goodbye. Goodbye, incinerator. Um, so I think we could go and get ourselves some more netherrack. You need to actually put the minecart back in its position and check up on how our world is doing within the nether. That's a quick little cheeky visit, you know what I mean? Cheeky little visit, mate. Oh, we're almost level 30. How did that happen? Oh, yeah, I took on a load of bosses at the end. Not, not bosses, but like a load of people at the end of last episode. For those of you guys that tuned in to the end of last episode. Oh, gosh, I was going to grab it. Oh, I was going to jump into that. There we go. There we go. Up we go. Nice. Um, I should have. I'm tempted to say I'm going to have some spare iron in here. But I may have taken it all home. We've got Guardian Doggy here waiting like a boss. Uh, okay, I think I must have taken it all home. I must have taken it home. Alright, sweet. I'm going to grab myself just another spare iron pickaxe so I can grab myself a load of nether quartz and then we can turn it into... We have the wither headquarters within the nether and then we're going to have a second wither headquarters within the overground area which is here and that will be the area we've been working on last episode. But before that even happens, I need to mark this area correctly. Bit like this, 
and then like this. Oh, it gives you three. Sweet, perfect. Just so I can actually mark my way. Um, let's go make myself a beautiful iron pickaxe. <gasps> Gotta love me my flowers. It still is alive. It's the bestest flower. Uh, is there anything else I may need? I don't think so. What do we get? Efficiency, fire protection. Okay. Uh, where's all my iron? Guys, you know where my iron is. It's here, baby. Look how much iron we've got. I'm going to give myself one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to make ourselves some of that. Some of this. Some of that. And then get ourselves two pickaxes. Now I'm going to drop off some stuff just because I, have, I don't need this on me. I can feed the dogs with that. Uh, I don't really need a random potato. I don't know why I have a random potato. I don't, know I don't really need that. I don't know, I've got two pots on me. You can keep that. You can keep the buckets for the moment. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so let's drop off the bone and that stuff. We can keep that on us for the moment. Got a load of nether quartz with us at the moment as well. Golden apple, just in case something really bad happens. Now let's feed all the doggies, just because you know what? These doggies have not been fed in a while. They've been the best guard doggies in the world. I didn't make them stand up, did I? Okay, good. Hey, what the? Who said you could escape? What the heck? Was that one that's always been out and about? <laughs> Has that always been a wild kitty cat? No, I'm not going to eat this. Are you kidding me? It's for the doggies. Not for me. Please tell me one of the cats. Oh, just one of the general cats must have escaped. Okay. It's one of the spare kitty cats. You've been a great guard dog looking after chickens. Um, we have a lot of cows. It probably gets quite quite higher level, actually. Is this the only potato I have? I must have more potatoes than this. Come on, dudes. Must have, yeah, I've got loads of potatoes, mate. Absolute loads of them. All right, so we're in a good position to head back home. Did I take that? Yeah, I definitely took it back. All right, sweet. I was like, did I take did I take the minecart home or did I not take the minecart home? That is the question. Oh, I forgot it was on the top floor for a second. <laughs> I was like, where is it? There we go. All right, sweet. So it's time. I love the fact you can actually see all the way over there to where the ender portal was. I wonder if the ender portal is always that close. I, fe I feel like it was pretty close to me. I feel like I got quite lucky. Alright. Allier's cave of awesomeness. Yeah. Alright, doggy. Look after this place for me. I'm going into the nether. Do -do 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 -do. Download and train. Download and train. Shade is off. Okay, so. I'm going to put a sign somewhere which doesn't really get in the way. But can I put it above that? Yeah. Allier's. Uh, with a boss HQ1. HQ for headquarters. There we go, baby. Now we know what's up. All of these signs everywhere, baby. Two skulls. I'm scared to, I'm scared to actually, um, actually bring those guys back, to be honest. Bring, bring the wither boss to life just because of how freaky it is, man. Uh, we're going to stay near here, I think. Maybe grab ourselves some of this quartz, actually. Just because it's great XP. As always, you guys know that. You guys know that. I'm just going to grab some of this as well, just for our little bit of our base. What should I enchant next, guys? Let me know. I think. Did I have an idea of what I want to enchant next? I really don't know, to be honest. Could enchant a shovel. I actually did. I think I did that once, didn't I? And then I broke the freaking shovel like a big noob. Such a big noob move. It was like efficiency five shoveling. I don't think you can actually get that. But it was like efficiency, efficiency diamond shovel. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. You guys will have known that, though. We just, we, we'll call it the most efficient shovel that's ever lived. With Ali A. I'm just, I'm basically doing these guys the job here. Just flattening out their land for them. I come here, flatten out their land, and what do they do? They attack me. Didn't say they could attack me. Now, do I have enough space in my inventory for a load of this stuff? Hopefully I do. Yeah, I do. Is that a torch over there I can see? No, it's just a um, just a mushroom. I can make myself some mushroom strew. I don't think I've ever done that in my survival series. I think I've done it in um, maybe the Hunger Games once or twice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here we go. Nice. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah, baby. We're 28 and a half levels. Nice one. It's kicking butt and taking names. Nobody knows. We're just too sick of this game, mate. Too sick of this game. 
Thank you very much, laddies. So, also something that's happening soon is E3. E3 is a huge gaming con I don't think it's actually, is it a convention? It's more of like a conference thing, really. Basically, the biggest gaming event in terms of news of the year, where Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, publishers for different games will all announce and show off a lot of the new games for the year. Yeah, it's a great time for new Call of Duty news. Um, and I'll be lucky enough to be heading there again this year. I'm probably be doing some vlogs for you guys. So you guys always show my vlogs a lot of support, which is awesome. Thank you very much. I did do one in LA recently, a very quick one in my hotel, so you missed that. If you just scroll through my uploaded videos recently on my channel here, you'll be able to see that as well. I'm just going to grab as much of this stuff as possible. We're almost level 30. Let's go and see what we can actually see. Okay, okay. I dig this area. You know, it's probably like the most efficient way of getting XP, to be honest. It's just going here. Uh, I can see a lot of it over there. It's not sure. I don't really want to go down. I'm scared of heights, guys. I'm scared of heights. I don't want to go there. I'm going to actually use up some of this. There we go. Rule one of your nether. Don't enrage the pigmen. Don't enrage the pigmen. I get myself a little bit of XP. A little bit of XP. Oh my gosh, it's broken already. Holy cow. I'm glad. No! Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, all I'm going to say... You see I just threw a pickaxe. Not the best pickaxe, but a pickaxe. You saw, saw me throw that pickaxe. Skyblock. I may throw a pickaxe. Something may happen to it. I'm not going to say what pickaxe it was. I'm not going to say when uh, it's going to happen. Anything more than that. But if you see that, just say, leave a comment on the pics on the um, Skygrid episode saying flying pickaxe. All right, flying pickaxe. Only if you see something to do with a pickaxe being thrown and something happening with it. All right, that's what, that's what I'm going to tell you guys. Okay, cool. I'm just going to nom on all of this stuff. Grab myself a little bit more of it. Sorry, it's been a lot of excavating, a lot of sort of basic stuff, but... We're just doing some cool stuff, guys, you know? We're just adventuring out. It'd be cool if you could bring a pigmen home. What I really want to do is like, make it like a villager farm. I know you can make a villager farm by turning... Maybe I'll try and do that, actually. Maybe I'll try and do that. You know what? I think I may. I'm not sure the way, the best way of doing it, but I'll, I'll work it out. So, you can actually turn a zombie uh, villager into a villager again by giving him, I think, like a golden apple like I've got here. Um, and since... The, uh, since the village near our house, unfortunately, uh, died off, what I may do is try and, I don't think I'd be able to repopulate that village, I think that village is kind of screwed now, unfortunately, but what I could do is make my, like, my own private villager farm, <laughs> and just bring in, bring in a load of villagers, and that's gonna make us hit level 30, baby, that's what I'm talking about, probably grabbing more of that, so actually probably a little bit worth it. So, guys, a few questions for you, do you like the underground idea for the wither boss? Um, what should I enchant next? I'm really not sure what I should enchant next, to be honest. Like, I've got way too many swords, guys. Way too many swords. I may to just heal my feet, because my feet, such a good thing. Such a good, just basically just such a good uh, enchantment to have. Feather falling. I love it, mate. Absolutely love it. Alright, I'm gonna get one more set. No, oh, not that. <laughs> Wrong piece of equipment. No. Give myself a little bit more of this. What are we on at the moment? 64, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, sweet. We'll going to throw that off into the lava. Then we can head back home, my friends, with lots of nether quartz, uh, nether rack. <laughs> my brain, man. Nether quartz, nether rack. Wither, nether. All of these words. Why do you guys confuse me? Hey, doggy. Thank you again, as always, for looking out for us. Uh, I think next episode we're going to do a little bit of work on our... Hey, up. I think next <laughs> getting stuck. I think next episode we're gonna do a little bit of work on our second with a boss headquarters, which is the area we started working on at the end of the last episode. Um pardon me and get some of that done as well. So let me go and plop all of this into the furnaces we have. We may have to get grab another furnace. Oh we got four furnaces. Okay, one, two, that's gonna need a little bit more, three. Four. Okay, I'm going to grab that and just divide that up a little bit. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put a little bit in there. I'm going to grab that and just halve it again. Make everything nice and balanced. All right. I think we're going to finish off this episode, guys, by uh, the furnace right here. Um, oh, 
There we go, guys. But thank you for joining me for another Alley 8 adventure episode. This will be a little bit of a sort of collecting resources, questions video, finding out what you guys like. So, a few questions to answer about the underground with a boss base in terms of taking him on, what should I enchant, all that good stuff. I'm probably going to heal my feet, but let me know. Smash that like button. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.